Jury selection well underway now in the trial of Derek Chauvin. Both the prosecution and the defense questioned several potential jurors with the goal of eventually finding 12 and two alternates to start this trial. We have team coverage tonight on jury selection so far. Fox 9's Rob Olson in the newsroom, but we begin tonight with Paul Bloom live from Minneapolis where the trial has been underway. Paul? Kelsey and Amy, this issue of third degree murder remains unresolved. The matter now in the hands of the state Supreme Court. Even so, Judge Peter Cahill plowing forward with a full day of jury questioning today. Nine individuals came up to the witness stand to answer questions from attorneys. Three of those nine seated today. I want to break down the three that were selected. Now, remember here, jurors' identities completely anonymous. They are known only by their randomized court-given number. I can tell you, juror number two selected to serve. White male, professional chemist. Our best guess on age, 20s, maybe 30s. Interestingly, he says he hasn't seen the video of Floyd's deadly arrest, but did visit the site, George Floyd Square, 38th in Chicago, and at least initially had reached some conclusions about what happened there. What was that opinion? That, you know, what, what I said on the questionnaire, that uh, Mr. Floyd was in the back of the car and... I so that I would use the word escaped. It seems kind of like a, you know, maybe I'd use a different word now that he got out of the car, I don't know, and then died, was killed um, on the ground. Yeah. And do you attribute responsibility for that to my client sitting here today based on the media presentation? I don't think I can say one way or another. And the second seated juror, juror number nine, female, originally from northern Minnesota, but obviously now living here in Hennepin County. She did not self-identify or race or ethnicity, but seemed pretty delighted to be selected. So when you first received your um, jury notice, what was your initial reaction? I was you? super excited. <laughs> excited? Yeah, that's actually why I voted. Ah. So I was really surprised when I heard got back feedback right away. I was really, yeah, I was really excited. I didn't know what it was. I didn't care what it was. I was just excited to be summoned. Okay. Why? why? What is um, it about jury duty that you find exciting? First of all, I just find the whole jury court process fascinating, period. And finally, the last juror question today, the last perspective, juror number 1930s, white male, an auditor. He, too, selected to sit on this jury. Now, Judge Cahill telling all three of the jurors now to go home, but not to do any reading about this case or research in the weeks ahead. He says to plan to report back to the courthouse on March 29th for the start of trial. It is worth pointing out here, Judge Cahill did tell these jurors that he is optimistic that this case will start on March 29th. So again, a couple weeks left to go and still this issue of Murder 3 remains unresolved. We're live in downtown Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.